Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and this is my friend Blender. Blender, how are you doing today? Do you have a name? Hamilton. Hamilton Beach. Mr. Beach himself. Mrs. Beach? Where are you taking? I'm not sure. Well, Hamilton and I are on a journey today. Specifically, a journey of libation, a journey of inebriation, and a journey of consumption. As is As it turns out, I actually threw my water bottle and it hit my mouse and it switched my scene. Isn't that cool? It's funny when you have mouse controls like that. That's what I get for leaving my electronics on the couch and stuff. It's okay. Nothing's broken now. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Oh, well, it's probably... There we go. Now things are totally okay. Things break all the time. Hopefully, the blender, Monsieur Hamilton, will not break today. Because if Hamilton breaks, then the cocktail is for naught. But alas, I will have to figure something else out because this particular cocktail that we're walking into today... Walking into? We should run head first into the cocktails. We have to take the cocktails on with open arms, fully accepted, full-on body cocktail action. So the cocktail that we're absolutely ramming into today requires a blender because some of the ingredients are hard and it's very difficult to drink things that are solids. Specifically, in this case, ice and an entire banana. If you can drink an entire banana without any sort of mushing or like physical coercion, then I applaud you and you're much better at drinking, drinking than I am. Let's get right into it. Hola, hola compadres, hola compadras, right? The, 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 the ending of the word I think has to do with the gender of like the noun and stuff like that. I don't really know. I don't speak Spanish, but como esta? Muy bien, gracias, y tú? It's about all I remember from my elementary and middle school journeys. The cocktail that we have this evening is brought to us, I believe, I don't remember if I brought this on the show or not, I probably had, by a book called Handcrafted, an illustrated cocktail book that my fiance picked up from, I believe it was like a, like a renaissance fair back in one of our local areas and whatnot. All the illustrations in the book are done by a Miss Caroline Boyk Purdue from, from Caroline Doodles. Caroline Doodles and Caroline Doodles very well. I actually very much enjoy a lot of the illustrations in this book. In particular, the drink we have on the menu is a funky monkey. Not the white Russian, just a little too simple. I wanted something a little more spontaneous out there and complex and something that I could more, more creatively garnish. I'm trying to work on the garnish game around here. The only thought I had about how to garnish a white Russian would be to try to like make my own little like, you know, the little tops that they have over here. I'm trying to make one of those and like just put it on top of the cocktail, which like, That'd be cool, but like, I don't know. I'm not doing arts and crafts today. Ukraine needs no more white Russians. This is true. My heart go out. My heart go out. My heart goes out to all the people in Ukraine right now. I hope everybody is okay over there. And if not, well, thoughts and prayers and everything in between. My support, as much support as I can possibly give, this is what I have. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of the world around you. But in case you can't handle that, which a lot of people can't, we can turn to we can turn to other things like entertainment, blenders, or um, somewhere in between entertainment and blenders. Now, note: don't get too entertaining with a blender. You might hurt yourself. There are sharp blades inside of this apparatus, and you, we wouldn't want any uh, body parts or parts in general to fall in there. I've made mistakes before with a blender, and uh, it involved wooden objects and also plastic objects, so don't make the same mistake as me. I'm not gonna make the mistake this time. I've learned my lesson. Live! Russia could start a major war in Europe. Ukraine. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I actually just found out about that uh, a couple of days ago. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. I... Right. The world. The world, folks. In any case, the funky monkey, the funkiest of monkeys, is created with a couple of different ingredients. It's a blended drink. I'm not sure if it's a blended drink out there. I know this is like one of those drinks that like, I don't know if it's considered like a classic or not, but I've certainly heard the Funky Monkey before, and I'm sure there are many recipes out there other than the one that I have in this book, but this is the one I have in this book. So that's the one that I'm gonna keep with. So the Funky Monkey starts off with a couple of things. We're just gonna kind of throw them all into a blender, blend the whole damn thing up, and then like, I guess, get a little creative with it afterwards. I'm gonna try to stay over to this side because Unconveniently so, my light is right there, so if I sit like behind my blender, there's like this awkward shadow that appears upon my face. So I'm trying not to upstage the blender, although to be perfectly fair, this blender is certainly upstaging me. We can't have that, but the blender is inanimate. It does not have a mind of its own. Sorry, Hamilton. So that's just how it'll be. The UN scheduling an emergency meeting. 
Well, at least people are meeting about it. At least, no, at least, like, the world is at least being aware of the situation, not being like, oh, that, that thing that's happening over there? No, we don't, we don't see that right now. We don't want to get political. We don't want to get involved in that. Let's get political! Not sure, they're just kidding. I don't want to get political. But I do want to get physical, and by physical, I mean physically doing motions with my body to put things in a octopus. Um... Where'd my, where'd my measuring stick go? Did I actually forget? Oh no, no, I did not. <laughs> I actually have it over here. I almost forgot my measuring majigger, which is actually a more proper thing to call, a more proper name to call this than I originally thought it was. A majigger. Thing of majigger. I take it, I take it. The funky monkey, or at least the uh, the ingredients list that I have in here. Let me look at that illustration again. That's cute. There's some funky monkeys in there. And my lights don't do it justice because it's all glaring all over the page and whatnot, but I think, I think it's beautiful. I feel, like, I feel like I have done something in this book before, but I don't remember. There's a lot of, like, really cool things in here. I uh, should do more research on that stuff. There's a lot of things in there. They're all beautiful. There's llamas on this page. Whoa. I found a lot. The llamas are upside down, but there's llamas on this page. And the, the, the pisco sour. I have no. I have no. I have no pisco, so I cannot make a pisco sour. I have sweet. I have sour. But no pisco. Meaning, no pisco. No, no, no. No pisco. No, no, no. No pisco, no, no, no. I'm gonna keep with that. The first ingredient in our funky monkey is gonna be gold rum. The goldest possible rum that I have is uh, this Mount Gay of mine. It seems rather gold. It kind of looks like somebody didn't hydrate throughout the day and kind of pissed in a bottle. So, you know, I'll take that. Actually, another thing I'm gonna do, now that I realize this, I'm kind of pushing myself to the side with his blender, and Chad is literally, like, engulfed in my mouth. So actually what I'm gonna do, just for, just because I have the blender, actually I'm gonna move my setup a little bit to the side, so I can stand like this. Maybe this is a better idea. That way, chat can be over here, and I don't have to, like, get my face all up in it. And also, we can still see Hamilton. Beautiful Hamilton. How are you doing, Hamilton? I need an ounce of gold rum. Mount Gay. I don't remember where the, the mountainous of this came from. Appar oh, oh, I remember. It was from Sir John Gay. I don't know where the mount is from. Is there a particular reason for the mount? Mount Gay Eclipse? Well, this is Eclipse. Oh, Mount Gay is the company. Eclipse. Eclipse is the rum. Aha! Eclipsing... Oh, you know, maybe the eclipse has to do with the reason why the naming of the goldness, you know? Because when you get eclipsed by a celestial object, the world around you looks like it's like dawn, even though it may be twilight or perhaps the daytime, and things get a little bit of a... I would imagine things get a certain golden hue to them. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't been around many eclipses, to be perfectly fair. In any case... The first thing we do is add an ounce of golden rum to not a cocktail shaker, a blender. A blender indeed. And not the not the animation kind of blender either. No no no. Although I've always wanted to learn Blender. Blender's like a like an open source like animation and modeling software, and I've always wanted to use it. I have used it before. Um, but I'm just not I'm not really that good at it. I'm not good at that stuff. I just haven't spent the time to like try and be good at that. The only way to really get good at something is to like keep on trying and trying and trying and trying and you know, learn new tricks along the way, and well, I just haven't, I haven't done that with Blender. I haven't done that with a lot of things recently. No, just kidding. I take that back. I'm doing a lot of stuff for work that's uh, involved in, uh, you know, the whole, you try something, you dig a little bit deeper, it doesn't work the first time, you make a couple of mistakes, you learn from the mistakes, you move on, and, you know, happy, happy living, now you know what you're doing. It's kind of interesting to consider the process of, like, learning, because there's a certain point to, actually, I saw a meme about this the other day, I don't know what movie it's from, but it's like two dudes sitting on a beach, and one of the dudes is a little bit bigger than the other guy, and he's like, hey, look, this guy, yada, 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 turns around and goes like, see that? Nobody cares. Like, you're doing what you're doing. And the meme was something along the lines of like, hey, this guy's learning a new tool, and he's kind of embarrassing himself and walking through it awkwardly. And he turns back and he's just like, seriously, dude, nobody cares about that. We've literally all been there. Just keep doing what you love, and you'll be, you'll be exactly where you need to be later on. And I like that type of mentality. No matter where you are, just keep on doing what you're doing. And hope you have fun with it. If you're not having fun with it, come up with another reason or don't. Consumption, 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 consumption. Ah, I do love me a nice consumption. The cocktail is not made yet, so I can't be consuming the drink just yet. Although that would be my decision. I also need an ounce of coconut rum. The coconut rum that I have is a Caribbean original, specifically Malibu. You can tell it's Malibu because it has palm trees. And everybody knows when you see the palm trees, you automatically know it must be the West Coast and it must be California. And it, wait a minute, is Malibu in California? Or maybe Malibu is in Florida. 
Is Malibu in Florida? Where's Malibu? I just noticed they don't remember where Malibu is. Yes, answer my question, people. Ugh, I wasn't answering what my question was. Malibu? Come to think of it, I literally have no idea where Malibu is. It's California. I was right the first time. Why do I second guess myself? Malibu, the sunny state of California on the west coast, when you see those palm trees, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. It's going to be a dangerous evening for you, your guests, and everybody you surround yourself with. You and your guests for different reasons than the people you surround yourself with. Dangerous because of this, and then for the people around you, dangerous because of you on this Malibu party time. I need an ounce of that. Or any old coconut rum that you happen to have laying around. I have like a coconut pineapple rum somewhere in my collection, but it calls for just coconut rum because it's a coconutty kind of thing. Coconut, banana, rum. Uh, 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 um, what's the what's the term? Uh, menage a trois, the three things. A menage a trois made in heaven or the beaches, the sunny beaches of the West Coast, California, United States, and whenever. Shot of Malibu when? I feel like it, I guess. I don't know. I have no reason to take a shot of Malibu right now. Although, shots of Malibu are... If I had to take a shot of anything, of what I per of what I have right now, the Malibu would probably be the top there. It's delicious. It's wonderful. And there was a particular friend of mine who was very, very inclined to do the same. She loved the Malibu. We always had a little bit of Malibu around because it was really one of the only things that she would be able to, be able to have. Because she really, really liked it and she's not a big alcohol fan. So, you know, we, we keep things for people. People eat it, people want it, people eat it, people need it, people want it. Next what I need, oh, you know, I just really, I've been using all these, um, I've been doing all these uh, measurements in standard, I don't know, why can't we always just use the metric system? The metric system's so much easier. The one ounces that I added, oh, look at that! Well, thank you, Jake, I appreciate that. Where's my party horns over here? Look at some party horns up in here. <laughs> Shot of Malibu when? Shot of Malibu not at the incentives of any sort of bits and whatnot. If I take it, it's upon my own accord. Although I could bite into something bigger. I'll eat chips if you'd like me to. Those are non-alcoholic. In any case, one ounce is... Oh, what was it again? Oh my god, I had the, I had the conversions in my head. I want to say one ounce is like 30 milliliters, but I'm going to have to do... I'm going to have to double check that. I got to do my conversions. I got to make sure that everybody on both places is totally up to snuff on those conversions. I'm still trying to memorize it myself. One ounce to mLs is gonna be about 30 milliliters. I was about right there. I was about right there. So long as I have that, I can pretty much estimate everything else. The next ingredient we need, in addition to the gold rum and the coconut rum, is half an ounce or about 15 milliliters of banana schnapps. My banana schnapps of choice are the only ones that I have. 99 bananas. This recipe only calls for one small banana, but I've got 99 in a container, all distilled down to their quintessential bottommost state of existence. Bananas. We like bananas, specifically half an ounce of them, into a blender. Notice that as of now, there's no solids in the blender, which means the blending process isn't going to do much aside from aerate, whatever is on the inside. We're getting there. Don't worry. Things get fun. There will actually be objects in the blender. I promise you that. That I can be absolutely sure of. The next thing that I require in this cocktail mixological thing of choice is the half an ounce or about 15 milliliters of white chocolate liqueur, which from what I can think of, I don't recall looking at other funky monkey recipes. Don't get me wrong. I really didn't do much of my research on this that calls for white chocolate, although the idea of like a, like, I love chocolate bananas. If you've ever had like a chocolate covered banana that you eat off of the stick, that stuff's delicious. I would not, maybe, maybe people will look at me in a weird way because I got something long on the end of a stick and I'm like totally enjoying myself with it. But my God, if you don't know the wonderfulness of like banana and chocolate, specifically like I love dark chocolate and I could totally get behind like a dark chocolate covered banana, then you need to wise up. You need to wise up. That or like, you don't have to. But like, if you find yourself in the opportunity that you could, yeah, I'd recommend trying it. If you had to come to a point in your life where it was chocolate covered banana, yay or nay, and there would be consequences on both sides that are about equivalent, I'd go with the chocolate covered banana. Banana split? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Give me some banana split vibes. Got a little bit of you. There's a vanilla ice cream in there, the chocolate ice cream. 
Oh, but you're kind of missing the cherry on top. There's no cherry in here. I usually like my banana splits with cherries on top or sprinkles. Some people call them jimmies. I don't want Jimmy in my blender here. Jimmy doesn't need to be in my blender. Jimmy doesn't really want to be inside of Hamilton right now because they're having a little bit of a quarrel outside of stream, personal stuff. But so that's why we keep we keep the jimmies out of Hamilton and in separate rooms. Also, to be fair, I don't think I have any sprinkles in this apartment, which come to think of it, I really should. Why don't I have sprinkles in this apartment? Although I may, I may. I have other things. There's probably some non pareils or I got sparkle dust somewhere. I was just talking to somebody about another cocktail recipe that could like really benefit from like uh, sparkle dust. Sparkle dust? Luster dust? It makes things look magical. And Jimmy, and Jimmy, what's your next ingredient today? Your next ingredient is gonna be coconut milk. That's right, you heard it. Coconut milk, I have to go to my cooler for this one. My cooler contains a variety of different ingredients for this month's, for this week's cocktail, and one of them happens to be coconut milk. You may be fooled. It says squash soup on the other side, but ha ha! I had you fooled. It's coconut milk. And um, it still hasn't gone bad yet, which is a good thing. This, though, needs to be shaken, as per the instructions on the container. If I don't shake it, for all I know, the world will come to an end. And I don't feel like the world should come to an end merely because I didn't decide to put the coke to shake up the coconut first. You know, if you have had lime in this drink, you'd have to shake it. Lime in the coconut, shake it all up. I don't actually enjoy that song particularly much. It's okay. You wouldn't hear, you wouldn't walk past me on the beach and hear me listen to it personally. You'd be listening to some lo-fi beats or some like upbeat and mellow chip tune. I've been listening to some of that recently. Boy, I love that. We need three ounces of coconut milk or around, I believe that's about 88 milliliters with all the conversions. If, you, if not, you can round up to 90, I would think. Or the, although there may be somebody out there who swears by the metric system and be like, no, you can't do that. But if you like what's in your glass and you think it tastes good, then I see absolutely no problem with rounding up, rounding down, switching out, removing completely. Hell, maybe you don't want none of this alcohol stuff anyway, in which case, eat a banana. Bananas are good for you. High in potassium. For three ounces, I'll fill up one of one side, one fill with one side, coming out of the nice white creamy ichor. It is not alcoholic. It's a very, it's a very white liquid. This is like that, this is like that coconut milk with pulp. You can call it that. It's still got some of the coconut cream in it, which is probably why they say you have to, to shake it up. That's got a nice creme on it. Wow. That really held its own on there. Nice surface tension. Nice surface tension, buddy. You're doing great. I express my deeply profound approval for what brand are you? So delicious, dairy-free, organic coconut, unsweetened. And then it's very small at the bottom. Coconut milk. It's interesting, like, of the entire box, one of the smallest things on there is per serving, certified, corporation, non-GMO project, and coconut milk. Coconut milk is one of the smaller things on there. So, like, that makes me think, like, did you not want me to know immediately that this was coconut milk? You definitely wanted me to know that it was coconut, because coconut's like the biggest thing on there. So I definitely know it's coconut something. I don't know if it's coconut milk, maybe not coconut cream, maybe not coconut custard, but it's coconut something. And it's in a carton, so watch out. Be afraid of false advertising. The next thing I need in my glass, in addition to some coconut milk, which I already placed in my glass, and I have a little bit of remnants in the, in the measuring thing, so... The next thing I need is one small ripe banana. Now, as it turns out, before today, I did not have any bananas here in the apartment. We need to go buy some bananas, but there's a trick. If you want, like, easily mushable banana, if you want your bananas to brown, the easiest thing that you can do, apparently, this is according to my fiance, she's very good Stick with things like that. Stick them in the freezer! That's exactly what I was about to say. Stick them in the freezer. And then when you take them out, they've got this weird, like, brownness to them. And then if you let them thaw, they become mushy. And when you have mushy bananas, they're a lot easier to blend and get to know with the rest of the solid ingredients than a hard, unripe banana. We want the yellow stuff. Borderline brown. Not the green stuff. No, that's gonna be completely brown. That's gonna be completely brown. This stuff is completely brown. It definitely is. Now, let's take out, let's take out the stars of the show. Not you, Hamilton. You're not the star of the show. The bananas are the star of the show. These are slightly bound, but browned bananas. They're still a little frost to the side because I kept them in my in my little uh, in my uh, what do you call this thing? Oh my god, it's a cooler. It's a cooler. It has some ice in it. And now uh, they were in the freezer for most of the day. We took them out about an hour before, and they're looking pretty good. I'm gonna have one of those bananas saved till later. Actually, I might. I could be. You know, that's part of the garnish. Maybe I like a nicer banana for that. I'll have to consider that. I'll consider that. I'll put the other one back in my 
little thing over here. I need to add the, the cocktail recipe that I have over here calls for one small banana. This is, from what I can tell, not a very small banana. It's basically the size of my head. You could absolutely drop it on the ground because it's really slippery or put it up to your ear and talk to your grandmother with it. But your grandmother doesn't know how to use a cell phone. She also doesn't have cellular in her area. So that's unfortunate, but she should have the internet. And if she don't, I get our grandmother a computer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna peel it if I can. I don't know if this will be easy to peel. I, I'm gonna get my cutting board out. I think I'm gonna do this more surgically. I wanna do this surgically. I think this will be, this will probably be a little easier for me. I'm gonna try my best here. A little bit of surg surgical action on this banana. We're gonna start at the bottom tip. We could call it, we could call it the anus of the banana. I don't I know if anything comes out of it. What'd you say? I thought you were gonna call it Jerry. You're like gonna name it or something. I'm not gonna name a banana that I'm gonna stick a knife into. You know what they do during like, uh, what was it, in interrogations? When they're trying to talk down like a like a shooter or a robbery or a hostage situation, they try to talk down and humanize the victim. And I don't want to humanize my victim in this case. I don't want to get too close to Jared. God, now I'm calling him Jared. Jared the banana. Jared, I mean banana, non-feeling banana. You don't feel any of this, right, Jared? You don't take any of this personally. You don't have a family, right, Jared? You don't, right? I really hope not. Jared, his family's over there. Whose family? Jared. Jared has a family? Yeah. Why did you tell me this? I bought him with like three other Are bananas. you trying to talk me down from slicing this banana in twine? Because it's, it's working. I'm feeling, I mean, I'm, I'm still going to do it, but I feel a lot more guilty about it now than I did previously prior to sticking the knife into it and calling it Jared. You literally put them in a freezer. Point yeah, but like at least you can survive in a freezer. Cryogenic freezing is supposedly a technology that can save many. I don't know until a time comes where there's better technology for it. Oh goodness. Oh Jared, I've skinned you, but only part of you. Oh Jared. How does it look? Oh it Jared, it's not brown on the inside. It's only brown on the outside, but it's nice and mushy. Consumption. I'm gonna eat a piece of this banana. Not only am I gonna split. Jared right down the center. I'm gonna disembowel Jared because apparently that's what the folks want Humanize the banana and then completely dehumanize it I'm a monster Oh, and that is incredibly cold. Whoa, Whoa. Jared you've been hanging in the freezer or something. Yes. Yes, he has been How's it taste? Tastes like banana Tastes like disappointment Tastes like a whole lot of shame and guilt all built up, and I think I might be going to jail for this, but they can't take me now, because they don't know! They'd have to find out after the stream happens! Or perhaps in the middle of playing Hollow Knight, which would honestly make for a very, very interesting thing to happen, although that would be unfortunate. I don't like that. I did see at least one article on the internet where apparently there was a streamer out there who was, you know, during, doing their streamy stream thing, and apparently there's a thing now out there called swatting. When you call the police and say, oh, somebody's gonna, like, there's a hostage situation going on in this person's house, and they send, they send the SWAT over, and uh, apparently this happened during someone's streams, and it was very, very freaky for everybody involved. I'd be terrified if some policeman came down and knocked down my door. That's crazy. Granted, that's an old thing? That's an old thing? I saw, I saw an article about that recently, so apparently somebody out there didn't get the message that it's old. Hi, Jake. Hi, Jake. Hi Jake, hi Cole, hi Cameron, hi Anna, Anna's back there. It's happened hundreds of times? I had no idea. This is news to me. Hey, hey, you know. It's like people not knowing that when you when you want people to breathe better, you put them on their stomach in a prone position. Everyone's like, it's a COVID thing. I'm like, no, it's not. It existed for what a while. What is that if? Oh, I guess so. Like people becoming aware of it only after the fact. I was like, what does, what does lying down in your stomach have anything to do with the, sending the police to a person's house? That feels, that feels slightly unrelated. But in the sense that, you know, stuff has existed for a while, yeah. I'm a little dense. I'm a little slow sometimes. We all can be. I just didn't get that one. Anyway, you know what makes us slower? Depressants, like alcohol. Let's continue. I need ice in my shaker now. Specifically, it calls for a cup of ice. I, I have, I have a measuring cup. I can measure a cup. Do you want the circle ones? I have ice. I have the circle ones. You have the circle ones? I have the circle ones. Although I'm afraid to use them in the blender because they're very, very dense. So I'm actually going to skip on the circle ones this time. Don't worry. Don't worry. Jake, I've heard your calls. I have spherical ice cubes. However, in this particular case, the physics would prevent me, or rather, 
dissuade me from using them this time. So, spherical. Here, you know what? I'll show. I'll show it. I'll show it. I'm not gonna use it, but I'm gonna show it just because I am a liar. You can't call me a liar when I've got spherical ice cubes, or rather, ice spheres. They're actually they're actually kind of cool looking. I love that. Spher I mean, they kind of look like little like planets now because I didn't actually like. You have to like melt them, melt a little bit. You gotta knock off the little pieces. But if that, this looks like a circle to me. This kind of looks like a circle. In front of my face, that kind of looks like a circle from the projection of this three-dimensional object in a 2D space. But we won't use that right now. Not bad. Not bad. There are more pressing matters at hand, like blendage. And specifically what I'll do is I'm going to use exactly a cup of ice in my blender. Spherical ice cubes are much more effective. I believe that they are. Actually, I literally have no idea. Something is to be said about surface area and, and, um, what's that? Like, uh, like, uh, I don't remember what the word is, but it's the site where things happen on a chemical level. Like, for example, you get a lot more bubbles in a roughly lined container than you do inside of a very smooth container because there's more tiny little spots for air pockets to form and surface get bigger. Area. It's not surface. I mean, it does have to do with surface area, but they're like like initiation sites or something like that. I don't exactly know. That's about a cup of ice cubes. Let's add an extra one in there. I like my milkshakes. I mean, my alcoholic beverages. Chunky. This is a chunky, funky monkey. We're putting all the unky ad adjectives in there today. This is my. This is my unky. This is my unky. The chunky, funky monkey. I don't know how we're related. I don't actually, I don't know if I'm related to the, the container with which the drink is in or the drink itself. I am either somehow related to Hamilton the Blender or you named to it? Jared. That's it says my Mickey Mouse Blender. Anna, it says Hamilton Beach on it. That's my Mickey Mouse it blender. named itself. Silly, silly. Let's add some ice cubes. This is a cup. I don't know what the conversion for a cup to milliliters is. Let's try to make sure that we've got all of our bases covered. One cup. One cup, uh, one cup uh, to milliliters. One cup is, a, well, 236.6 milliliters. Let's call that 237. I'll call that 237. I thought you say for a cock to mil, a cock to mil, a cup. I don't know how many milliliters your cock is, but mine's ginormous if I had chickens. I don't have chickens though. So technically my cock is infinitesimal. Because zero is nothing. That's what we're talking about. That's what I'm deciding to talk about. Now I need to blend things. This is all the ingredients. All the ingredients in the blender. Gold rum, coconut rum, banana schnapps, white chocolate liqueur, coconut milk, small ripe banana. Actually, it's a pretty large ripe banana. It was frozen and ice. Love that. Consumption. Where are you, my friend? Where'd my water go? Water go, water go. I appreciate that out there because I need to make sure that I hydrate myself before imbibing. It's a good thing. We... Oh, let's put the top on Hamilton. Put your top on Hamilton. We don't we don't appreciate topless blenders. There we go. That was probably okay. There was a lot of glass on here. Hamilton just, just takes a little bit of encouragement, you know? Don't All right. Spank him. I'm don't plan on spanking Hamilton. Actually, you said this was a Mickey blender? There's nothing Disney related on oh, this. Oh, it's not actually Disney related. I just got it because it was red and black, so therefore it's Mickey. I follow that logic. I agree with that completely. I'm gonna like, I don't know if this is like what is necessary to be zoomed in on, but but we're gonna zoom in on Hamilton and Kim. Astro's here, Dom is here. The party can finally begin. You know what that means. This is one of the broken ones. Why does he get a special like this? This is one of the broken ones. We don't, we don't need that. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I want to blend things. So, if anybody out there has sensitive hearing or anything like that, my microphone is obviously very good. Top dollar microphone. Picks up sound quality with the highest level of fidelity. So watch out! We're gonna pulverize this! Yes. The broken one. Indeed, the broken one. It's special. All right. Incoming sound warning in three, and two, and one as I sing in the background. La, 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 la. So sometimes things get a little gunked up in there and to, in order to, you know, kind of encourage your drink to continue doing what it's supposed to do, 
You oh can do. God, you you can doing? use. No, no, no. You can use a stick Jesus to kind of Christ. put things around. Please it literally note. comes with a stick. Oh, it apparently comes with a stick. Swap ya. Comes with a stick. I mean, you use broke the stick. it. How did? I... I need to buy more. Of these. Oh my goodness. These these little wooden spoons over here are apparently very fragile. Don't throw them. Don't even use I've them. I've had them for three years. If you value your spoons, never use them again. You're but anyway. Blue. So if you use this and kind of oh stick it in there, God. don't turn the blender on. That's a mistake I've made twice in my life so far, but not today. Then uh, you can kind of kind of push things in there. Oh, broke it! Amazing singing voice. Show it, show it. Actually, this is this isn't long enough. Oh come on! <laughs> this isn't even long enough. I'm gonna consume that. Mmm. Okay. It tastes like banana and disappointment. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back on. I'm just going to remove from the surface and do a little bit of. I don't want that. I'm gonna keep shaking it this way. Now, now, let's try to get, get that, get that spoon out of here. Get that spoon there. You gotta be careful. Sometimes, it does, actually doesn't fit on very well because we have used this blender extensively. No, All right. what you do is, never mind. I want to see the broken spoon. Adam, bring forth the broken spoon. Actually, bring forth both of them. There's two. But in the meantime, another rendition from a musical called Hades Town. La, 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 la. Interjection. Now during our intermission, let's introduce you to Broken Spoon number one. Oh, Broken Spoon number one, because this one broke first, and then Broken Spoon number two. Broken Spoon number one has been broken for a while now. Actually, we've broken it three times. I use crazy glue to put it back together, but that doesn't make it any more kitchen ready than it was before. Broken Spoon number one, ladies, gentlemen, and those in between and beyond. Broken Spoon number two, actually, not really much That's of a spoon a at all. It's a spatula, so, so not Broken spatula. Spoon number two. Broken Spatula number one. It actually just broke because I threw it. I'm an aggressive individual. Watch out, ladies. And men alike. <laughs> I want to see the broken spoon. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. There's two broken kitchen utensils. Some would be proud about that. That's I'm not so not... sure. Let's... I don't know if this is the right consistency. Is this is the right consistency. It still seems a little chunky. I'm going to do it some more. And, uh, I'm going to do it some more. I'm going to do it some more. Milkshake mix. Here we go. It's slower, but it's got more power behind it. How's your holiday season going? Did you do anything special for Valentine's Day? I played a video game on the internet. And that's okay. Ooh, got a little much there. How you doing? Every once in a while you have to check in with your kitchen utensils and appliances. How are you doing? Are you okay? Oh, you say nothing because you're inanimate. What are you doing? What are you doing? It goes faster. I'd like to make an analogy about the American academic system. We've been here in the academic system for way too long for something that should have taken a significantly less amount of time. This has been in the blender, being blended for way too long. We don't need that. I think we shouldn't charge this particular beverage for being in an establishment that should be endowed for all individuals. Hilarious! What are we making, by the way? We're making the Funky Monkey containing gold rum, coconut rum, banana schnapps, white chocolate liqueur, coconut milk, a small ripe banana, or a large one, and a cup of ice. What do we got going on there? Ugh! Well, your ex came over and gave you the ring back. Not a promise ring or anything, though, but a ring you allowed her to take. Ooh! It'd be very interesting if I gave this ring back to him. Okay, it is now gone. I am officially open for business. Anyway, I think <laughs> I think we've blended the hell out of this enough. Actually, let me let me set up the angle a little bit better. We're gonna gonna make our drink now. We're gonna actually do the thing where we put it in the container. I need my yoga blocks. I'll buy you new ones. I promise. I also need my glass. The glass that I have today is a pint glass, specifically with Minnie Mouse on it, because that's just that's just what I got. Take it or leave it. Let's try to zoom in on here. I get a nice nice view. There we go. There we go. Oh, Anna just gave the ring back. Looks like I have to close up shop again. <laughs> Switch things around. This is my left hand. Is it on the left side of the screen? No. Everything is reversed. Is it really reversed? No, it's not. 
What does it say? That's the right way around. This is proper around here. What happened to my hand? Oh, what happened to my hand? Uh, I have a uh, planter's wart on my hand, so I've been trying to get rid of it. So it's unfortunate. It's been sitting there for a while. It just this happened to be the first day that I was actually able to like convince myself that I want to start putting the chemical on it to make it go away. It's uncomfortable, but it hasn't been painful. So I was like, it's not hurting anybody. Um, I'm taking care of it in the most medically proper at home way possible. No, he's not. I don't not. feel like going to the doctor for it. There's a chemical for it. It says wart remover. What am I gonna doubt the label? Chemicals, ladies, gentlemen, and those in between. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually gonna, so I'm gonna try to garnish this in the way that I see fit. This is my, I'm gonna walk you through my process. My process is funky monkey, chunky funky monkey, unky funky chunky monkey, deserves to have a banana in it. So I think I'm gonna just put a banana in it to garnish it. Now I have a very brown banana over here. I don't know if that looks very pretty. Anna, would you be a deer and get me one of the more yellow Those bananas? Are green. They're green? Even better! I was gonna add some green to this drink while while I have some assistance getting some green bananas over for this particular cocktail libation. If I had bay leaves, I would use These are bay Gerald's leaves. Sons. These are G Jared. It wasn't Gerald, it was Jared. Gerald was the name of a pineapple I sacrificed in high school. Goodness gracious. You wanted what leaves? Oh, you have to, used to have a planter's wart in your wrist and legit cut it out. Well, I'm not encouraging this type of behavior, but that's kind of what I'm doing. Or rather, what I'm doing is I'm allowing the chemical to do its job. It's digging at the skin, and then slowly but surely ripping out the wart itself by the power of chemical action. That's what the doctor told me to do last time, so I'm doing it again this time. Alas, 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 alas. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the most pretty banana in my collection, this guy, the prettiest one that I have, and just kind of add it, add it to the cocktail. Uh, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna cut off the bottom a little bit, so there's a little, it's a little bit easier to put on there. Oh, I don't have a serrated knife. Shoot, let's see how this works. I need a lot cutting board. I'm gonna cut it down here. There we go. Actually, that worked perfectly. The paring knife did exactly what it was. Oh, your sounds a lot messy. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a little, it's a little messy. It was a little messy before, but everything's okay. I'm gonna put a banana in there. It's a large banana. Maybe I should peel it first. Peel it first? Would it look prettier that way? Yes. Anna says yes. I'm gonna peel it first. I'm gonna peel this banana first. Excuse me for a moment. Actually, let me... I don't need... T Jared was your name? Ha Hamilton? Hamilton Jared? I don't need the blender with me anymore. I'm gonna put it on the floor. We're fine. I'm gonna unplug it too. Don't need that blender anymore. We're good. We're good. We'll go for that later. I'm actually gonna peel this thing. Peel this dang thing. Yeah, peel it back. Peel it back now, y'all. One banana this time. Two bananas, let's go! Freeze! Everybody hug a bunch of bananas. That doesn't have a sound effect. Actually, this banana is actually very wobbly. Doesn't really want to- Oh! Okay, it broke. Well. Banana. Actually, that's not gonna come out the way that I want it to, so actually, you know what? I have a use for the spherical thing! I have a use for the spherical ball of doom! Put it at the bottom, put the banana on top of it. Oh, there we go. There we go, put that in there, and now... I have a banana in exactly the right spot. I love that. If you take a butter knife and firmly but softly carve into it, you can inscribe messages into the banana as they ripen. Oh, I remember that trick. Because as it browns, there's there's more there's more oxygenation happening to the kill the the, the cut areas, uh, to the peel the peel that is. Yes, I, I I like that one. Science is cool. I love science. In any case, so I put that in there. This is my. This is my the banana part of the gar the garnish the the monkey part of the garnish and let's make it funky. I had decided to grab some um, green construction paper and I had scissors. Oh, found the scissors. I am going to cut out some leaves. I don't have any bay leaves on me, so instead I'm just gonna kind of like I don't know. I'm gonna cut a couple of leaves out of this thing. Why don't so, you just use basil? Because basil leaves aren't big enough. We want the big leaves, Anna. Like it came from the tree itself. I am going to fold this in three, and I'm going to cut a little leaf from it. This is how I'll do it. Leaf. Trying to make some bay leaves. Ideally, you wouldn't eat this. I wouldn't want to eat construction paper, although I have in the past. I was a very odd child. I still am a rather odd child, and I make mistakes, and sometimes just do things that should be a mistake, but I do so anyway because, hey, some say... All press is good press, but I don't know. Anyway, now I have three little fake bay leaves. I'm just gonna put a little couple of fake veins in them. 
It's all fake. You know what? Just for a moment, let's like, let's just imagine that they are real. Here we go. I want to do one up in the air to show you all what I mean. That looks terrible. So now I'm actually going to do it on the table like, like I intended to. There we go. Put a couple of leaf veins in there. It doesn't look super realistic, but I'm not going for photo reality here. Realty? Reality? There we go. Abelius. They look so much more real now. Oh, I love it. Anyway, so now I'm going to wait until after I put the liquid inside because paper is not going to be very likely to like sink to the bottom. So at least it may not be. Oh, yeah, there's still some left of this banana. I'll use that later on. I will use that. I will not waste that part of the banana. Goodness. Oh, the P. Yes, you can leave messages for Anna if I prep her lunch or something. Anna, if I packed lunch for you, would you would you eat those lunches? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we've got we've got a maybe over there. This is possible. Now let's actually take the libate ba libation libation and put it in the glass. The funky monkey. I'm gonna pour into it. There's no need to shake it. It was already eviscerated. Ooh, it's kind of it's ooh, it's nice and chunky. Oh, there's a little bit of ice in there. That's fine. I have a straw. I don't know if the straw is big enough for this though. We'll see. Oh, another little chunk. That's okay. This ain't perfect. This ain't like this ain't like a professional blender. It's just a blender. And apparently does not have Mickey Mouse on it. Unfortunate. Unfortunate indeed. I could draw Mickey on it. Uh we could draw Mickey on it. I don't know if we want to. I don't know, Hamilton, are you okay with that? I don't think he's okay with that. He hasn't said anything, so I guess that means hostility. All right, let's add some bay leaves. Make it look a little pretty. I don't know, behind the behind the, behind the banana? I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's try it, let's try it. The intent is not to eat it, merely to garnish it, make it look pretty. pretty you pretty sticking pretty. it in the drink? Yes, you put it in the drink. Why don't you put it on the side with tape? <laughs> no, that's not very pretty at all. Hamilton? Yeah, the blender says Hamilton Beach on it, so I decided to call it Hamilton. Hamilton as in, you know, you know, uh, what is it? They're not gonna take away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. Because I just like my country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm a funky monkey in the glass. With a banana on it. Anyway, I think that looks absolutely wonderful. Lady, gentlemen, those in between and beyond, I need to find my, where's my remote? my remote at? My remote. Found my remote. Without my remote, I can't go all the way out. Sorry, you couldn't do that. You couldn't do that musical. I watched it once. I like. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool. The music is catchy. I watched it when it came out on Disney Plus and my co-workers are kind of obsessed with it. At least one of my co-workers is very obsessed with it. Wonderful, wonderful show. Wonderful show, I think. I mean, I'd watch it if everybody else was watching it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to watch it. Now, we went to go see a musical of the weekend called Hades Town. Oh, what a good musical. I was listening to the soundtrack afterwards. I'm not, I'm a theater guy, but I'm not really, really a theater guy. I did, I did theater once upon a time, but like, if you told me like, oh my God, you have to check out this musical, I'll be like, I'll get to it. I'll get to it eventually. But I do like theater in general. Theater is a fun thing for me. Just gotta find the right group to do it with. I have the Funky Monkey. The Funky Monkey is provided in part by Miss Purdue. Caroline Purdue of Caroline Doodles, who made a very wonderfully illustrated cocktail book detailing the recipe. I'll put it back up because if anybody else has that reference, I don't know if that's legible. Is that legible? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Screenshot that. If you're interested, screenshot it. I don't mind it. It'll be, it'll, I'll, I'll put it in various places. All these recipes wind up in multiple places, so if you didn't catch it this time, that's okay. Maybe you can find it in one of the three or four other places that it winds up getting posted. I like that. That's how we do things. Because really, one of the points that I want to try to do with all these cocktail ingredients and whatnot is to try to be able to like share them with the world. Because there's some like really, really interesting cocktails in here. And I like, I want people to know about it. I want people to know that these cocktails exist. Excuse me while I take my Instagram photo. Some of these screenshots that I've been doing for at least for me are not up to the camera with an X quality standard. But uh, I like that. I, personally, one of the reasons that I really like to do this stuff is one, to be able to get through all of my recipes, and two, to make some of these recipes, like, give some fair light, because there's some, like, really odd and, dare I say, funky recipes in these books, and some of them aren't half bad, and those type of flavor combinations were, like, discovered by, like, a couple of people, but, like, the world could know, and I think that would be wonderful. It's only musical that Astro can watch without feeling like you're dying, Sweeney Todd. That's an excellent musical. I love that one. Ten the tale of Sweeney Todd. His chin was large and his eye was odd. I don't remember the words, honestly. 
He shaved the faces of gentlemen who never thereafter were heard of again. I was in that show. It was a good one. I played the Beatle, the police officer. Oh, and you're on your PC and you can't screenshot. You don't know how to do that on PC. What are you running on Windows? On Windows, you can do Control Shift D or it's Control Shift S, and I believe you can take a screenshot like that, like really, really easily. It's a little Windows shortcut that I use often. Right? Is it Control Shift? Control Shift D. Control Shift D. You can like screen cap. It's really, really cool. Anyway. Yes. Yeah. And then you can like copy and paste and like paint. That's usually what I do. So the Funky Monkey, I forgot to go through the recipe again. The Funky Monkey was made with an ounce or 30 milliliters of gold rum. I used Mount Gay, Eclipse specifically. One ounce or 30 milliliters of coconut rum. I used Malibu, the original. A half an ounce or about 15 milliliters of banana schnapps. I used 99 bananas. Half an ounce or 15 milliliters of white chocolate liqueur. I've got Godiva. Three ounces or about 88 milliliters of coconut milk. My brand was so delicious, I think. Although it might have been not super delicious. It's coconut milk. Not really my cup of tea for the most part on its own. One small ripe banana. I used a large frozen banana. It, I think it worked. And a cup of ice, which is about 247 milliliters if you convert that all. But I feel like you would be using a different unit to properly measure that. Because that's a lot of milliliters. And you add the rums, the schnapps, the liquor, the coconut milk, and the banana to a blender. Add the ice. Blend until smooth pour into a glass, serve, and enjoy. And that's how you get at least this particular version of the Funky Monkey. Let's see how that tries. Let's see how that tries. Let's see how that tastes. Does it taste good? Does it taste okay? Is it okay? Is it the funkiest of monkeyest? <clears throat> Pretty nice. Okay, my first thought is that it's not super duper sweet. There is not a lot of very forward sweetness in here. And to be honest, the only source of sweetness are, is the banana, which I don't know, I don't, I don't find bananas to be that incredibly sweet, at least not this particular banana. Uh, and the other sweetness is gonna come from the white chocolate liqueur and probably the Malibu. I think the Malibu and the white chocolate liqueur are really the only sources of like sweetness in here. I didn't think the coconut milk when I tried it previously was very, very sweet on its own. It was rather, kind of dry, a little, little pasty, because it has, not only is it coconut, it's the coconut milk with the coconut cream in it, so when you kind of mix it together, it's not, it's also unsweetened. The label literally says unsweetened, so that also probably explains that too. But aside from that, if you kind of focus on more than just the sweetness, it's banana-y. It's great. I think traditionally, from what I've found, is that rums, particularly, I've been told, those from like Jamaica or Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, or like these, it's got this funkiness to it which i can't really speak on because i'm not i'm not super duper my palate isn't expanded to the point where i'd be able to do that very easily um but so it's got a funkiness to it that funkiness apparently pairs really well with the banana i can taste the rum i can taste the banana and i think those go pretty pretty well together it's not too bad i'm trying to do that thing where you kind of like like kind of aerate it on your tongue a little bit and uh, it's not working. It's a very, very thick beverage. But I can taste the rums in there. Honestly, the coconutiness is very faint. I don't get coconut very obviously. Like, if you if you taste Malibu on its own, it's got a very strong coconut note to it. That's kind of been muddled out by the coconut milk, which on its own didn't taste super duper coconutty to me. But it's light and banana-y. If you handed this to me without any context and said, tell me what that tastes like, I'd be like, you know, it kind of tastes like the dryness of a banana. And that would be pretty much spot on there. I think I was supposed to blend the banana. I, I did blend the banana. There was another banana in the blender. This is a, this is a garnished banana. This is, this is only part of the garnish. This is the show that we put on at the very end. Indeed. But like, ah, yes, 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 yes. So there is banana in here. That's, that's, what, that's part of what makes it thick. Part of what makes it think is Jared, the banana who I very gruesomely slaughtered in front of his family and now have his daughter in here. Poor Jared. I'm just gonna call this banana Jared's daughter. They were all part of the same bunch. A banana bunch. A family banana bunch. Uh, but it's nice. It's nice and it's, I think it's very light. Like if you, if you're the kind of person who wants something banana-y, but not like totally in your face banana-y, so like, kind of like, like if you've ever had like those candies, the runts, like that confectionery banana flavoring is not present in this drink. It's present in the schnapps if you, schnapps if you smell it, but schnapps are like high enough in alcohol content that I feel like you can kind of look past it. And it is wonderful. What if you added ice cream in the future? Dude, this would go awesome with ice cream. I would call that a funky banana split. The funky monkey split. The split funky monkey. Split funky monkey? Spilt funky monkey? 
I'm, I'm messing up my words now. These scissors don't even work. I was using those for the fake baileys, which have already saturated and kind of look a little nasty, but that's what I, that's what I got. I like that. This is nice. This is not something I can drink like super duper fast just because it's kind of, kind of thick. My straw is rather small. By the way, if you, if you use, if you're going to use straws, I'd recommend going with the reusable ones so you can clean them. I have one in four colors. One is gold, one is silver, one is just like jet black, and the other one's like rainbow? It's kind of rainbow. It's like those like, ra like those rainbow cars or like those rainbow stones. They're actually just coated on a very, very small, thin layer of titanium. And I think that's what creates that thin film rainbow effect, kind of like an oil slick. Kind of, kind of gives the drink a palm tree look. That's the intent. Kind of thinking, I don't know what a banana tree looks like, but I think they have palm leaves on them. I think, maybe? I'd have to do my research. I have never gazed upon an actual banana tree. I've gazed upon palm trees. I've gazed upon palmetto trees, but I have yet to gaze upon an actual banana tree. It'd be pretty cool if I did though, but I don't think, of the places that I've been so far in my life, I don't think these are the climates for bananas. Although maybe like South, like South, South Florida. Maybe they can do bananas down there. I'm not exactly sure. Hopefully I get the opportunity to see a banana tree one day because I'll, I, I don't know. I just, they look so cool. They look like, they look like giant, like, if you told me like that banana bunch is a bunch of tiny little fruits all in one big bunch, I'd be like, you're absolutely right. But like, what if the entire thing were like a giant fruit of its own? Like, I don't know. That stuff like this is super cool. So, 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 a needle pulling thread. Doe, a deer, a female deer. I'm not singing it on key. I don't know what key I'm singing in the new one. But it's nice. I like that. The funky monkey. Oh, I'm getting the rum now. The, actually, the rum is the rum is coming through now. I guess it wasn't mixed super well. Despite the fact that I had it in a blender. You'd think that it would blend like really, really well if I had it in a blender. And apparently that was not the case. It kind of looks like a palm tree, but there's an offshoot where the bananas all bunch together. Nice. I like that. So it's kind of palm tree. That, that kind of works, right? I think the he kind of brings it all together. I don't know. We'll let the onslaught of the internet determine my fate on this particular cocktail. Thank you all for joining me. This has been fun. I do like the Funky Monkey, and I really like the illustrations of this book. There, I have another book, too, that I eventually want to get through called uh, The Power of Positive Drinking, where it's kind of like a book like this, except there are no colors already in it. You have to draw the, the drink. So I feel like it'd be really cool to, like, it'd be really cool to, like, kind of make the recipe, and I guess, like, as I drink it, color it in. I don't know exactly how I want to format that particular episode, but I feel like it would be fun. I don't know. We try to get creative. That's all I got, everybody. And this came from Handcrafted, an illustrated cocktail book by uh, Caroline Boyk Purdue. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I think I've done rest two recipes from that so far. That's what I got. Funky monkey. Funkiest of monkeys. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way over to the other side of the bar, the desk, the gaming center, and try to figure out what to do next in this Hollow Knight game. It's it's about bugs. The bugs fight each other. The bugs fight internally. It's it's King of Bugs. And if you like if you liked bananas, this is the right place. If you like blenders, this was also the right place. If you like bugs, stick around. I guess some people are really into insectoids and whatnot. I don't know. You you do you. Thank you everybody. This has been fun. Until next time. Have a wonderful evening, morning. See you all on the other on the other side. Peace out, y'all. Bye. <laughs> I'm so happy to be throwing my shit at you. But I guess, actually, technically, oh, you know, we're in the royal sewers. We're in the royal waterways. There's definitely a sewer, right? So they did need a toilet. Okay. And when you when you yell, what does that mean? Does that just mean you get faster? You do get you did get a little faster. Oh my goodness, you're all like all the rage.